Welcome back. The clutch operating cylinder is on the passenger side of this car, and it's pretty easy to replace. Mine is 40 years old, so let's get into it. Remove any fluid from the reservoir using either a rag or a baster. Then clean out the reservoir until it looks like this. Take the snap ring off the back of the operating cylinder and the clutch fork will push it through. Then pop the piston out and remove all the fluid from the inside. This is rebuildable, so don't worry about that part. Once it's drained, you can remove the hose. If I remember correctly, it was a 17 and then an adjustable wrench that got me through this project. Looking at the oil, you can see chunks of brake hose in there. This hose is pretty old, so definitely garbage. However, the operating cylinder would operate on another vehicle if needed. So if someone would like this, please let me know. Before putting the new parts on the car, there is a little bit of pre-assembly. This just makes it easier in the long run. Put your hose onto the operating cylinder off of the car. You want to make sure that your bleeder screw is up top. You have all your cables out of the way. And you can go ahead put your soft line down. Reassemble your soft line like you did to remove it and then you should be good to start filling it up and bleeding it. This is the same process as bleeding brakes, where you pump, open up the bleeder with a seven millimeter wrench, and tighten it once no air is coming out of the bleeder. The hydraulic fluid here is DOT3 brake fluid. It's extremely caustic, so you should wear eye protection. You should also make sure you have a bottle of water next to yourself to clean up anything that you spill and wipe it away. Then fill your reservoir up and you're good to go. Have a nice day and I'll see you next time.